Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another From the Collection video. I'm already preparing my Bundesliga uh, review for the weekend, but I said before that let's uh, get to a collection video and I thought since we have now the European finals coming up this week, which is basically where all my focus will be, although there's some stuff happening, let's have a look of all the jerseys from these teams that I have, which actually meant it was a little bit difficult to come up with a background. But I said, Bundesliga background, we have the defending Champions League uh, champions here. Well, they have uh, the defense already failed, and the defending Europa League champions are also I'm wearing. I'm spending way too much time thinking about these. So, the way I'm going about it, it is very England heavy, and in most of these. Uh, actually rather recent acquisitions as well um, but you know why not it's uh, it, it, it's fun and I will go first Europa League three jerseys and then we have Champions League final where I actually can show you five jerseys so a total of eight jerseys in here and of course as I say we'll start with the Europa League and the home team is Via Real, which is a jersey that I've worn in videos but since the Texas I have not really worn so far, uh, it will come for sure. It's a very recent acquisition uh, that I got, I think, at the beginning of April. I bought it off eBay from a German seller for relatively a good price. Um, I think somewhere around 25 or something like that. Uh, this is, as far as I remember, it was the 16, 17 or the 17, 18 jersey. I was very happy to get in double XL. It fits really well on uh, a Homa. Uh, it has this weird V pattern on there that I'm not sure that the camera will pick up nicely now. Uh, probably not, but there is kind of this uh, V pattern. It reminds me a lot of the um, uh, 2012 Italy jersey. Uh, it has some ventilation here. Yeah, some interesting stuff. And of course, as most Spanish jerseys will have a La Liga patch, which I really, really, really love. So yeah, I'm very happy. It is very yellow, but you know, it's a yellow submarine. So yeah, that's the only non-English jersey in this video. It's very in interesting. I'm looking forward to actually review it in its special video. Then we're moving on to who will take on Villarreal. And there's of course Manchester United, also two recent acquisition. This one here, I want to say I got summer 2019, that's the 10-11 home jersey. Uh, and I actually, I think it was 10 euros or even less than that. And, um, of you know, sex, second hand. And I knew I just needed a Manchester United jersey. And I have to say, I don't want to say I lucked out, but I really like this one. It has a few uh, interesting features. Uh, the first one, I mean, this was kind of... The Nike line they had that's always at this taping uh, down here, but I really like that it changes from uh, red uh, to black inserts, and of course on the left sleeve you got the devil, which I think is the greatest feature on this shirt. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed about the, how the crest was stitched on. The sponsor is actually nice, although I don't see it as a classic United sponsor. Uh, but the biggest feature is the pattern on the back that's in there. You can see it maybe shining through this, this uh, all kind of uh, V pattern looks almost robotic. But yeah, it's a really nice Manchester United jersey, I have to say. I have to say the other one that I have, which is the 1415 one, so four years later, is actually quite, is I like a whole lot better. It's still the A on sponsor. I really like the crest, it's a whole lot bigger here and actually makes to me a, a lot, lot more sense. But I really like the style with the uh, kind of, uh, is it a rug? No, it's not, not really a rugby color, but I really like the double, the bot uh, double button uh, uh, closing here and it's all functional. It's actually three buttons and then two buttons here hold, hold holding down this. Uh, I know it was not the most successful season, but I have the champions patches on here. Uh, from the 13-14 season, uh, no, 12-13, I'm, I'm, I'm a year off, this is the 12-13-14 jersey, sorry about that. Um, so I have the patches on, on here. I got this for 5 euros because uh, I have Tom81 on there and yeah, I'm still uh, trying to f f figure out, oh, I'm still planning to do a video where I take uh, this name set off, really like the devil here, if I will ever take, take it off, but it really serves me well, it's a really nice Jersey, moving on to the Champions League final. The home team is Manchester City and we have now 12-13, we have 13-14, here's 12-13. Manchester City, 
home jersey. We can't have two Manchester teams winning, winning it. I remember in 94 the two Milan teams won the uh, two cups. Uh, I have to uh, see if, if this ever happened before. Um, this was also a very recent edition. Uh, I think I'm gonna say early March or whatever, where I knew I really needed to have a blue city home jersey. Uh, and you know, there were a few. This one I could get as part, part of a package. I'm not very happy of the monochromatic crest, but I think it makes overall a really nice look. I actually like the style. It is a, a slightly stretchy feel. feel. It's a very well-crafted jersey. I mean, tailored by Umbro. Uh, the black on the inside is in in interesting kind of foreshadowing, uh, copying what Nike was doing. The color is really nice. Maybe the rugby style is a little bit too short. But I think for me, what, what really is that I have silver on the back 20, uh, 21. These are still the felt numbers that I like a whole lot better than the plastic numbers that were just in two seasons later. So yeah, really nice city jersey, but uh, it's not the favorite of the bunch here. I have to say, just from the pure looks, probably the number two in my list uh, of these jerseys is this city away jersey from the 18-19 season. This is gorgeous. This was the first city jersey that I have. I got it, I think in 2009, 19 for half price at, at, a, uh, at, a, at the local mall or something like that. Uh, honestly, the dark blue will always please me, but then the accents with the light blue, which is of course the club's colors, and then the um, kind of greenish, neon greenish, which harks back to an old jersey from Kappa that had more of that uh, where they got pro promoted. And then the nice new crest. I really have to say that the, the, the new crest looks really nice. This is an absolute beauty. Uh, totally, I, I totally love this jersey, even though I don't have too much love for City, but I totally love this jersey. And they wore it when they won the title in 1819. Which leads us to the last team. And I have to say, if I had to pick one jersey out of these, it is actually the oldest and very first one that, that I got, which is this Chelsea jersey from 99 to 2000. 2001 it was worn. I think I got it 2000 as a present from my uh, brothers. Took with my aunt a trip up to Scotland. They stopped in London on the way there and uh, they bought me this Chelsea jersey because at that moment, uh, to a certain degree, they still are. Chelsea was my absolute favorite team in England. They played this great style. Uh, it has the old style crest. It's a little bit, I have to I have to say, it's a little bit of a boring, but meanwhile, very classic uh, look. I, 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 I did not, don't, don't necessarily like the piping here, but you know, uh, it's really nice. The material is super heavy. And super sturdy. I absolutely love that, that that one. The old, uh, now old crest, um, yeah, is something. It takes people sometimes a while to see that there is a lie on there. But what really sets this apart, of course, why this is my pick, Gianfranco Zola. I remember my brother even calling me, uh, oh, which player do you like from Chelsea the most? Zola, of course. 25 because 2 times 5 is 10. So, yes. Uh, and then this uh, neat little tag here for no reason, but you know, nice touch. I also like the, um, the shiny Umbro diamonds. Two more Chelsea jerseys, which I have the most uh, of. In 2001, I was in London at the beginning of the season and they had this new 2001-2 to two, um, away jersey. I said, I have the home jersey. Now I want to have the away jersey and I think at the time I still want to have nice colors on my shirt and I know that the away jersey for uh, this one had had a color and then the home jersey suddenly had had a color but the away jersey didn't. I said ah okay but I need a, a Chelsea away jersey and white made so much sense to me now I realize probably a yellow is more a typical Chelsea away color but okay white I have. It is also relatively sturdy it's really nice. Fly Emirates looks really weird these days, I have to say. Um, but there's a, a nice sh sh shadow striping. There's nice um, ventilation going in, in there as well. I got it plain. I uh, didn't put the player on there because that would have been way too expensive. It was my first stay in London and I wanted to get a jersey from every club that I could visit the stadium of. For some reason, I didn't buy the Fulham one. Uh, but I bought for Chelsea, Arsenal and Spurs and I got of course the league patches, that was for me the big thing. Although uh, it really, the, the, the blue here, you can open this up a little bit and the patches a little bit um, get rid of that. 
support. But yeah, I was happy to have it, still happy to have it. It's a really nice jersey as well. And then we finish with the most recent and probably the cheapest acquisition of all of, all of this because it was part of a package deal with Roma um, and an Argentina jersey. It's of course the 2006 to 2008 Chelsea home jersey. I wanted to have one with a new crest and since this came in the package deal, it was, I was not necessarily out for this one. Uh, but you know, it turned out to be this way. I have to say, I like this crest a whole lot better, even though it being circular. Um, this is one of the better ways that this famous Adidas template uh, has been applied. It's actually a little bit different because uh, the um, uh, ventilation patch here goes all the way down there. It has some wear and tear here on the sides. But you know, I don't complain. It's otherwise in really, really good condition. I really like the Chelsea Football Club uh, written in here. That's a nice touch. And yeah, it's a rather plain on the back. It's not the greatest jer uh, jersey, but since it's the one that has the new crest, uh, it's the one that hangs most often here. So yeah, those are the jerseys I have from this year's uh, Europa League and Champions League finalists. Uh, let me know what you think about these. Let me know which jerseys do you have. Um, as I said, it's not now necessary all my favorite teams in there far, fro uh, far fro fr from it, but I definitely think I will root for Chelsea in the one final. I don't know yet. Uh, probably via VRL because I don't want to have two uh, again two English teams willing in the other uh, other one. But VRL is not is not not even close to be my favorite Spanish team either. So yeah, rather not more or less neutral there in a way. But yeah. Want to know which shirts you have from this team? If you have all of them, I would be interested to know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!